tried XYZ product? I get asked this question all the time and we're going to talk about that today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now, today's show is brought to us by House Call Pro, which is the number one software for service professionals. It's for house cleaners, professional organizers, painters, gutter cleaners, carpet cleaners, window washers. Everybody that services the home will benefit from using this software. If you're a small business and you have details of the customer that you keep intact, whether don't use uh, certain chemicals on certain things in their house, or if they have special chemicals that they want you to use, or if they don't want you to clean certain rooms of the house, or be careful of that antique clock, you keep all that information in your database. It goes on your phone. It goes on your computer. If you have somebody you're dispatching the job to, they have all that information. So there's a whole bunch of information that will help you run your business that you don't have to keep re-entering with every work order. Yay, it saves so much time. Check it out at housecallpro.com forward slash Angela. All right, on to today's show. We have a customer that called in and asked this question. Hi, Angela. Have you ever used Fabuloso before? Oh, Fabuloso. Yes, I have tried the product. And there are a lot of products that are out on the grocery store shelves that I get asked frequently if I have tried and why I have not reviewed them on this show. Okay, so the truth of the matter is there are a lot of products that are great products. If you want to use them, I want you to be informed. Please look up the safety label. Please check the safety data sheets. Please try them. Please see if you like them. And if you land on a product you love, great, then use it, right? There's a series of tests that I take my products through. And it's because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find the best products for professional house cleaners that are going to be inside people's homes day after day after day using these products and chemicals for hours on end. And so that is my focus, which is a little bit different than a consumer focus where you're going to use a product once every couple of weeks, right? So there are products that I want you to do your own research on. And then there are products that I, I search and research for a professional setting. Now that said, there are a lot of companies that come to me in beta testing and they say, we have a product as well. Will you take a look at it? And I can take a look at it and I can say, this product is not ready for market. In five uses, this clasp is going to bust. And then the house cleaner that's using it is going to get really mad because all their stuff is going to go toppling out. So don't, don't use this clasp, but if you use this one instead, this one will stand the test of time. And they'll go back to the drawing board and they fix some of that stuff. There are other companies that have come to me and they've said, hey, how about this product? Like a duster, for example. And so my question is not, is the duster itself effective? Because the duster head is perfect. It's awesome. You nailed it. But the handle is wrong. Where is this handle when it is not in use? And so those are questions that I ask. Is it in someone's back pocket? Because if it is, it's too short. Is it snapped inside someone's apron belt? If it is, it's too long. And so the handle is wrong for the application. So if we're going to promote this, if we're going to share it with everyone worldwide, if we're going to introduce it to the professional cleaning market, the handle needs to be retailored. And so there are a lot of products on the market that I will not put my name behind. And it's not because they're not good products. It's because it's for the wrong application for which I'm speaking. And so as a homeowner, you get to try whatever you want that's on the grocery store shelves. And I want you to. I want you to find a product that just makes your heart sing. And if you love the smell of it, I know people love the smell of Fabuloso. There are professionals that say, oh my goodness, my allergies are so intense. I cannot use that product. Okay, I'm not knocking the product, but it's different for every person. And so you have to find something that you love. And if you are a professional, it's not just what do you love, but what do your customers love? Because while you may love the scent of it, then you have customers that are like, whoa, please not in my house, not around my pets. We have allergies. This only heightens them, right? So there are certain things that you got to be very careful of as a professional that as a homeowner, you get to do whatever you want, right? So it's not that I don't like the products so much as it is that I belong to five Facebook groups. Anytime a product comes through, we have in length discussions about the particular product and what people have noticed, what their customers said, what their clients said. It's a really deep dive into not just my own opinion, but how does it work? Does it live up to the advertising claims? Are house cleaners using it? Have they tried using it at a professional level? What was the response? Was it as effective as these other products? We ask a lot of questions and we spin a lot of ideas 
because we are the house cleaners that are face to face with customers on a day to day basis. And we're not just cleaning one house, but a single house cleaner on their roster of houses probably has anywhere from 20 to 30 houses that they clean on a regular basis. So they get to try 30 different types of vacuums and 30 different types of cleaning supplies if they so choose, right? So I want you to be very well aware that there are some products that are not ready for our show. Not that we don't like them, not that they don't meet customer demand or that they don't meet advertising promises. It just might be that they are not right for us. So when a company pays me to do a research and development on their product, I will review it even if it doesn't end up on our show. And I will send that information back to the research and de development lab and say, there are 1500 house cleaners that use this product. Here's what we think. This is, this is not safer choice. This is not green seal certified. This is not any of the other companies that have their own rules and regulations and criteria for registering and certifying a product. This is a consumer back end professional in your home. Here's what we used. Here's what we found kind of approach. So it's a little bit different when it comes to research and development, but when we love your products, oh, oh boy, do we love your products. And then we promote those inside our learning library. So we actually have partnerships with manufacturers of products we love and we stand behind them and we recommend them all day to house cleaners all across the globe. So if you did not find your favorite product on this show, it's not that it will never be on our show. It's just that that product is not ready for us or we are not ready for it. All right, I hope that helps a little bit. If you found this helpful, please pass it on to a friend. If we've earned your subscription, please subscribe. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.